Stuart? Yes. Do you ever use furoshiki? Yes, I do. Small ones for wrapping bento, huge ones for carrying futon when I'm moving, and tough ones for carrying heavy items like printers to a repair shop when I don't have the original box. How about, how about you? I use one for kimono. Mm. I sometimes play Okinawa music on the stage dressed in kimono. I take my set of kimono wrapped in a furoshiki. Oh, really? Simple square pieces of cloth like this, made of cotton, silk or other materials, they're called furoshiki. Furoshiki are versatile wrapping cloths. Not only are they useful for carrying things, they also make gifts look more attractive. The word furoshiki comes from the culture of the bath, or furo in Japanese. In the 14th century, when samurai and aristocrats used a communal bath, they would take a change of clothes wrapped in a cloth. After bathing, they would use the cloth as a bath mat on which to get dressed. Shiki means something spread on the floor, so the cloths used when taking a furo came to be known as furoshiki. Later, the use of furoshiki spread to ordinary people and they became an essential item for carrying things. Furoshiki can be used to wrap just about anything. They can even be used to wrap bottles of wine. You roll two bottles up in a furoshiki, then stand them upright, which folds the furoshiki in the middle. Finally, bring the corners together and tie them in a knot. This wrapping method helps to keep fragile bottles from breaking and creates an easy-to-carry handle. With a furoshiki, there's also a way to wrap a long box that seems too big for the cloth. Bring the near corner and the far corner together, intertwine them, take one end to the left-hand corner and the other to the right-hand corner and tie a knot at both ends. The fact that a piece of cloth can be folded into various shapes to contain almost any object is the most distinctive characteristic of furoshiki. Furoshiki used for wrapping gifts often have auspicious patterns on them. This one depicts pine, bamboo, ume plum, the crane and the turtle, which all symbolize good fortune. It's traditionally believed that wrapping a gift with a cloth featuring auspicious symbols like these keeps the gift pure. Furoshiki are not just a means of wrapping objects. These cloths are used to express respect for others and to wish them good luck. The Japanese put a lot of thought and heart into gift giving and furoshiki are clear evidence of that sensibility. Stuart, hmm. what impressed you most? Oh, how to wrap two bottles. That's a brilliant idea I would never have thought of. I was impressed by how to wrap a long box. Uh -huh. That's also very clever. Yes. As we saw, items of any shape can be wrapped with a furoshiki so that they look beautiful and are easy to carry. Yes, in fact, a, a furoshiki could be described as a very versatile tool. Yes, it could. Stuart? Yes? We have some nice examples of furoshiki here with Indeed. us. They are lovely, aren't they? Yes, they are. You know the concept of using one piece of cloth for carrying all kinds of objects is really interesting. Mm -hmm. There's the opposite tradition in the West of using bags or boxes that have different shapes and sizes depending on what they're designed to hold. Yes, I think a similar idea applies to clothes. Mm -hmm. Western clothes are designed to match the size and shape of the wearer, ah. whereas kimono, like furoshiki, can be adjusted to fit anyone's size and shape. Mm, that's interesting. Um, does the use of furoshiki also have something to do with the 
Japanese custom of covering things like presents? Mm, well, uh, covering items is a gesture of modesty, mm. which is an important Japanese cultural value. Mm. The Japanese tend to think something hidden is more attractive than something uh, presented explicitly. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. This even extends to the Japanese language and behavior, which leave uh, a lot of room for ambiguity. Mm. And of course, uh, Feroshki are eco-friendly as well. They're now regarded as good examples of the spirit of motainai, right. avoiding waste and reusing items. Yes. For example, if you give a gift wrapped in a furoshiki, mm. um, you can either take the furoshiki back with you and use it again, mm. or the recipient can keep it and reuse it. Yes. That's very eco-friendly. Mm. And furoshiki make good eco bags for carrying your shopping because they're washable and durable. That's right. Mm. Um, uh, do foreigners use furoshiki much? Well, I found they're very popular omiyage because they're very Japanese and beautiful. Mm -hmm. Of course, foreigners and some Japanese use them for many purposes besides carrying things, such as for tablecloths or wall decorations or bandanas and so on. Well, in fact, those are good examples of uh, the spirit of motainai. Yes, but I hope today's video clip will be useful in furthering the original use of furoshiki for carrying things. You're right, I hope so too. Mm. Well, Stuart, by the mm. way, here's something for you. Oh, a present? Yes. Arigatou gozaimasu. Doitashimashite. Oh, beautifully wrapped.